morning everyone starting this weekly vlog off looking my best as usual <laughs> um i'm going to tell you about this Let's see if i can get that to focus medic eight this is c tetra lux i've actually had this for some time and I've been meaning to give it a try and I absolutely love it. I've been using this in the mornings. I've run out of my um, Youth Bomb. That was the Vit C one. Youth Bomb, I can't even read what that says, but I know it's a vitamin C serum. And I ran out and I thought, right, now's the time to try this Medicaid. I've got a few bits from Medicaid, but I've started off with this. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't tell you how good it feels. I'm just going to put a couple of drops on my hand. It takes quite a while to sink in. So I use it in the mornings after I've put my spray tan on. And it's like, um, it smells very strong of oranges. I'm allergic to oranges. It's not affected me in any way as of yet. But it's like a really light oil on your skin. And I can't tell you how good it plumps everything up. I just think it's great. I think this is the fourth day that I've used it. And I want to carry on using it. I am impressed. And now, along with that, I'm going to start my makeup off. I've been raving about this, ladies. This is my new favourite before makeup. It's absolutely brilliant. And this is the SPF that I'm using. So this has got SPF 30 in it. It's got lots of skincare ingredients in it. It's called Daily Defence by Studio 10. I will be getting another one of these, that's for sure. Anyway, let's crack on. And I thought I'd do my makeup while I give you an update on everything that's been going on. Because uh, we've not done that for some time and I've not really felt like it, to be fair. Um, what can I say? Firstly, we got over 6,000, ladies. We got to over 6,000 and I am so pleased about that I cannot tell you it made me smile all day and thank you to all of you and any newbies on here that have just been watching the clothing haul you'll discover that it's not just about that it's about life in general as well which is what I'm just about to talk about um, See how that gives that little bit of colour. It's just absolutely amazing stuff. And it feels very similar to the Medicaid that I've just used. Where did I put that? Here it is. Yeah, it's very... Again, it's like having a light oil on your face. You have to wait for it to sink in the same as you do this. Time consuming, I know, ladies. But it's what we do, isn't it? This is what we do to make ourselves look our best or it's what I do anyway I'm just trying my best at 60 to not look quite 60 yes so I was really pleased about the um, over 6k viewers that really made my day now while that's settling in now what am I doing today um, I've got some unboxing to do with you and then I'm going to get ready and do this Q&A uh, spilling the tea film that I want to get out. I had some lovely questions. I had more than I expected, so I'm really pleased and I hope it's not too boring. I had a lot of questions about my allergies, which really surprised me because trust me, ladies, I lead a boring life where food is concerned, extremely boring. And when I do that Q&A, I'm going to talk about them a little bit because I could talk all day about them, the whole story, it's so long. Uh, but I'm going to leave everything that I'm allergic to in a list in that film. And then if you want to try that diet, 
try it ladies you won't like it and I wouldn't I wouldn't have my diet for love nor money if I didn't have to right this is still a little bit tacky so let's have a little catch up um, D is still in the house we're still trying to get on the best we can in the house uh, there's nothing available for her to move into yet that's all I'm going to talk about on that matter because so many of you have asked questions about what's going on and that really is all I can tell you at this moment I'm sorry um, we're just trying the best we can and hopefully something will come up soon just going to go in with the uh, MII foundation that I love the other thing I wanted to talk to you about and you're most probably wondering why I'm stuck in this room so much with you all and that is because before Christmas I had a car accident I was turning into the road that I live the week before Christmas oh god it was awful ladies absolutely awful and a young boy on a scrambler bike drove straight across me I can't tell you how scared I was with everything else that's got that's going on I cannot tell you how I felt I, this boy I came to a quick halt his bike got wrapped it, it must have got stuck in the front of my car it ripped the whole front of my car off obviously I've come to a quick stop and the first thing I've done is jumped out of the car to make sure this young boy is alright. He looked about 10 to me, apparently he was 14. Um, I said, oh my God, are you okay? And he jumped up and said, sorry about that love, and he just ran. I was just in a state of shock, and I just stood there. Um, I got back in my car, I drove it into my car, car parking space which is literally yards um, and I called my daughter because I was so shook up it's the first accident I've ever had in 40 years she came over um, the bike was still in the road and while I, I called the police I couldn't get in touch with anybody I phoned the police and they said oh this isn't an emergency you need to phone 101 which I did, and 101 just advised me to do this report online, which I did, I just explained everything that happened. Um, Dee was out, she wasn't here, it was actually her birthday weekend. Um, and I just filled in the form and then heard no more. Uh, two weeks later, I got an email from the police saying we can't find the other party. Hello, Bo. I got an email from the police saying two weeks later, we can't find the other party, so we're closing this investigation. Now, I had a written off car. We got a courtesy car. And we've only just been paid out for the car. We're, it was last week, so a week off of February it took. They wrote the car off. I was absolutely gutted. I bought that car with my inheritance. Um, it is what it is. And then, one morning I got up and my neighbour had sent me uh, this thing on Facebook from Crime Stoppers saying, hit and run car. Uh, if anyone's got any information, Whiteford Cougar, this, this, the same date and time that it happened when it happened to me. And I thought, oh my God, this is me they're talking about. I was immediately really frightened. They said uh, the boy had a serious leg injury. Uh, that scared me. And so I had to contact the police again. So I contacted them and they said... This case has been closed and I said well you've just put something on um, Facebook Crime Stoppers saying you're looking for me so 
yeah, they reopened the case and I had to wait to speak to an officer, which took, that took over a week. And you know what goes through your mind? Did I do everything right? Was I going too fast? Did I indicate? Did I do this? Did I? He was riding on the path anyway. Um, and he just came straight across me. But you do start to think, did I do this? Did I do that? Am I in trouble? And to be fair, I could have been someone in that car, absolutely legless and driving. And no one would have known because the police wouldn't even come out. I thought that was really bad. Anyway, I don't drink. I don't drink any alcohol. So, I knew that wasn't the case. Um, yeah, so they called me and they said, do you want to press charges against this boy? And I said, because it was his fault. He was 14 years old, riding a scrambler bike that's not roadworthy. Um, but he did have a serious leg injury and I ended up saying, look, He's obviously learned his lesson go from there. D actually does want to prosecute. I don't I don't know how that's gonna work. Um I don't know. But anyway, we've got the payout for the car. That's why we haven't been anywhere much lately, because I have no car. Uh I'm just starting to look for a car now. I'm gonna get an eco sport, I think. Yeah, I like the look of the eco sport. I just need something small, but something with a boot that uh, is big enough for bow, obviously. That's the problem, a boot for bow. Yeah, so that's what I'm looking for at the moment. And they're not easy to find, ladies. I just want a car. I feel like a prisoner. I really do. My children have been amazing, rallying round and driving me here, there and everywhere. But oh, when you've always had a car... It's awful when you haven't got one. I've never been without a car this long, ever, in my life. And I have hated it. Anyway, that's the news. That's the catch-up. Oh, one other thing. Oh, God, I've forgotten the most important thing. Uh, my son's got skin cancer. So that is being dealt with. And I have to say, he went to the doctor's and within a week he was being checked and the following week he was being consultated to have that removed so I cannot complain that things have moved slowly at all I'm very impressed and it's a weird weird looking thing it came up on his arm um, they've said it's not a bad cancer by the way that's why I'm not in tears uh, obviously it's still worrying but it started off as a little spot and he picked it and it got bigger and he picked it again like you do I would do the same he thought this doesn't look right and he called me over and I can only describe it like a black mushroom growing out of his arm it's a really weird looking thing now my son loves a sunbed and I think he's had a lot, a lot of sunbeds. He goes to Dubai a lot. And, you know, he's just overdone it, I think, with the sun, obviously. You can tell your kids. You can only advise. But that is what's happened. So, yeah, he's due to have that removed any time now. And I'll be glad when that is all over and done with as well. So, yeah, quite a lot going on, ladies. Quite a lot. <sighs> I just want to find a car as well. I just want to find a car. Have any of you got Eco Sports? What do you think of them? I'm going to get my cousin to come out with me. He's a mechanic. And that will be helpful because I have no idea what I'm looking at. And everyone calls me Driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> because I'm a terrible slow driver. And to be honest, since I've had that accident... Boy, does it make you more cautious. Um, I drove the courtesy car a couple of times and just getting in that, it just, oh, that accident. It stayed with me all over Christmas. It ruined my Christmas and I would not wish it on anybody. So that's it. That's the news, ladies. Let's carry on with this. Um, 
I'm going to use the MI eye today, I think. I love this MI eye bronzer, it's so easy. Then I'm going to get dressed and we'll do these unboxings. And you never know, we might actually get to go out soon. And I'm sorry if you found it boring. Obviously it's not been too boring because I've been gaining subscribers and I'm so grateful, so grateful. So grateful. It's been a hard time ladies, I'm not going to lie. There you go. It's really nice this MI foundation. Um, foundation and bronzer, I like both. A little bit on there, it's supposed to lift the jowls. If you do a little bit on the chin, get these rollers out. Right, that's it, nearly done. I want to be natural. Um, lips. The Studio 10. You can't beat this lip pencil. It's literally the only one that I use. bigger brush on the studio 10 this is an amazing mascara ladies if you've got short fine stumpy lashes like mine this is what you want you've got the um fine tooth comb one end and then you've got this brush at the other but it's flat if you haven't got a lot of lashes you will know that it's very easy to get mascara all over your eyes and you don't get that with this one because the brush is flat. Right, I shall get dressed, put some lipstick on first and uh, we'll go through these unboxings. Right, what am I going to use? Wonderlust, I think, one of my favourites. This is a fantastic nude from Code 8. A very, very natural colour. One of my favourites. I think I've had three or four of these. I wear it a lot. Anyway, I'll get dressed and I'll see you in a minute. Right, I hope it's not too dark in here. I've not got any light on. Um, this is the look. Creaky floorboard, a creaky floorboard under flooring. I don't know how I'm going to get around that. Anyway, this is the look. I've got the Damart jeans on. I'm really liking these jeans. These are called the Perfect Fit jeans. You've seen me in them loads of times. This is my second pair. The H&M t-shirt, again, I'm living in these t-shirts because they're great layering pieces. And the Balkan cardigan, the new one. Um, a few of you bought this cardigan. You really liked it. So that was good to know. And it is a lovely cardigan. If you were one of those that ordered it, let me know your thoughts as well. Because I like to hear what you think about the items. It's worth every penny, ladies. It's like wearing a lightweight jacket, really. It's, it's lovely. It feels lovely on. Um... Bionic boots. I'll be going out to the shops soon. And I haven't got a belt on because I've got a new belt to share with you in the unboxing that I'm very happy about. I've got the new Monica Veneda earrings in. I am loving these earrings. They're very 1980s, I think. My mum would have really liked these and I have actually got some earrings that were mums very much like this i'll have to get those out and start wearing them but they're not gold for me like monica Veneda ones are i can wear these all day mums ones would most probably give me a huge rash on my ears but hey ho yeah i love that torture shell the brown i think they're absolutely beautiful 
the hair's not gone that great but I've not washed it today so it is what it is we're only doing an unboxing so let's get into it right before we start I thought we'd have a little bet don't know if any of you are into betting this is only a little jokey bet oh god so I said I'm going to try and raise as much money as possible for a new car well it won't be a new car but anyway oh, they weigh a ton all these five peas that I've collected and I've collected they've been in there for years to be fair because I've just never bothered to go and get them uh, counted but I thought we'd have a little guess Guess the five P's, ladies. How many? Oh, God, it weighs a ton. How many do you think are in there? This bottle uh, was brought back from Spain when I was four years old, full of gin. It was my dad's, and I've kept it. But the top of the bottle is very cracked. So I'm going to have to be very careful getting those five P's out. But, yeah, I'm going to put it on Instagram as well. Guess how many five P's are in there. It's going to be interesting. I reckon I'm going with about 150, I think. I don't think it'll be any more than that. Yeah, I'm going with 150. Let me know what you think. <laughs> be interesting to see how much is in there. Right, let's get into this unboxing. There's three things here that really excite me. One of them is a new Balkin belt. Now, I've been speaking to the Balkin ladies because so many of you have asked me when the reversible belt is coming back into stock. Actually, let me get that. Now, these belts come in small, medium and large. This is the reversible one. Now, I ordered this. I think I've had this one. It's more than a year. But they only had large in stock and I was so desperate to get another one I opted for the large and that's why I have that band on there because it's it's too big and it flaps about you know the rest of the belt so yeah but this is the reversible belt so it's on the black side at the moment it must have been from that try on hole and it just turns and clips and then you've got the tan or taupe and this colour, it's not the tan of this one. Look at the difference. It's that creamy, beigey, taupey colour. And it just go, it goes with everything. Um, and like I said, a lot of you have said, when's the belt coming back in stock? And I've spoken to the Belkin ladies and it's going to be back in stock very soon. Uh, but while I was talking to them, I've always had my eye on this one, this tan one, and it looked a lot more, I think it was a lot more orangier online, I'm sure it was, but th this colour is missing, this dark, dark chocolate type of brown, I won't call it tan, but yeah, I love it, I'm going to take the label off, let's get some scissors. Now this is in a size medium, this one, and I know it's going to fit me perfect. I'm going to suck up to the Belkin ladies and see if I can get another, the reversible one in a medium as well. So let's try it on. And I just know it's going to go perfect with this. I've stopped losing weight ladies I've stopped losing weight so I'm very very happy about that honestly it just fell off me what with the split with D and then the car accident and the sun having the cancer scare I think it was just all a little bit too much there you go look it's perfect it's just one of them colors that's gonna go with everything i love it i think they're 59 pounds their belts excellent quality leather excellent quality and you know i've had my balkin belts for years yeah and there's 15 percent off of that ladies as well because anything full priced 
clothing accessories from Balkian, you'll get my 15% discount, which I always leave at the top. A bit croaky today. Let's have a glug of tea. <coughs> right, now next, I had a reorder from Beauty Pie. It's only one piece, but it's one piece that I really missed, and I want to tell you about this. Um, this is the Youth Bomb Youth Bomb Biologic Collagen Peptide Cream uh, it's not got any SPF in it but as soon as my jar of this cream I've still got my old jar over there but it's empty as soon as I finished using this cream I knew that I'd finished using this cream and that tells me something, that tells me that it's good. And a lot of you, when I was using that cream and the uh, Youth Bomb Vit C, Vitamin C, a lot of you were saying your skin looks great, Laurie. And I've got to say, I was really happy with this Youth Bomb series. The only one that I didn't like was the um, Retinol. The retinol, I think it's just not strong enough for me. If you've got, I mean, I've got sensitive skin, but I've been using retinols now. I think it's coming up three years, so I can use something a little bit stronger. But that is just a very, very on the weak side. Retinol, I, I wouldn't get it again because um, I wasn't overly impressed with it. But the cream and the vitamin C, absolutely brilliant. So I'm very pleased to get this back and I shall be putting this on my face tonight. It just, it's very, very hydrating and plumping. So if you're a Beauty Pie member, ladies, do take a look at the Youth Bomb series. At the moment, I'm pretty sure membership is free. You can't lose, can you? Some of the, you know, I've had some brilliant stuff from Beauty Pie. I'm actually just writing a blog post for Beauty Pie. I've not been commissioned to do that. I, I want to do that because I'm that impressed with Beauty Pie. I've found some great stuff. The uh, Super Luminous Under Eye, brilliant. Um, what else do I like? I like the Youth Bomb. I liked the Japan Fusion Cleanser, I've finished that now. There's just been a lot and uh, and their SPF 50 in the summer is just everybody, everybody on Instagram and online is using the Beauty Pie SPF 50, it's brilliant stuff. So yeah, well worth a look ladies. So I wanted to talk about that. One cream I will talk about was the, um, I'll go and get that. The Pro Collagen, uh, Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. There's a hair stuck in there. Uh, I've used this mainly at night, sometimes in the mornings. I will say it's hydrating. It's nearly gone. I don't think this has done anything for me at all. I don't know why so many people rave about this cream, but it's just, you know, I know when a cream's good for me and when it's not, I see results. I've not seen any good results with this. And at the price it is, I would not be buying this again. And I know a lot of you like this cream. You know, you will know if it's working for you but it certainly doesn't do anything for me. And that's such a shame because I would have liked to have got on with Elemis. I'd like to try their, um, they do a cleanser, don't they? Uh, a balm cleanser and a lot of people rave about that. I would like to try that, but uh, I won't be using this again. Not at 90 pound a jar. I think that's just ridiculous. The best cream I've ever tried and I think I'm going to have to buy it because they're not gifting anymore, is the Overnight Mask. I can't remember the brand. Mantle. Absolutely superb. I, I think I'm going to treat myself to that cream because that cream literally gave me results when I got up in the mornings. I was so impressed with it and I, I miss it. So I think I'm going to get that as well. Anyway, that's a little beauty update. Now the next thing... 
I've got to share. I thought this was very interesting. This has been gifted. This is from a brand called Hello Clean. Now, in Essex, if you are if you live in Essex, well, this part of Essex that I'm in, Basildon, the worst part, the hard water here is unbelievable. I have to, I go through so much fire cow, you would not believe it. And of course, I'm washing my body in that water and my hair. And Hello Clean have offered me this shower head. And you put this shower head on and it's got this little piece in here that's a water softener. And I thought, I really want to try that. I really want to try that. And it says on here, it's not you, it's your water. Three times more hair build up pH 7.5 increased, oh this is what not, to, right, let's see what this says, I'm so excited for you to try this out, hard water has been such a nightmare for my skin and hair, so it's been my dream to create products that address this and I'm thrilled to be able to share it with you, let us know how you get on, your shower routine is about to be changed forever, yeah, so it's actually got all my area as well on the, on the map <laughs> of where the hard water is. I think I've got a discount code for this, so I'll leave the link so that you can read all about it. And obviously if there's a discount code, I'll be leaving that with you. So what does it say on here? You've got a refillable design, reduces heavy metals and 90% of chlorine boosts pressure and saves up to 25% of water. Dry hair and skin, suitable for dry hair and skin, sensitive skin and scalp, and chlorinated and hard water. Yeah, I'm quite excited to try this out. It's going to be interesting, ladies. I'll keep you posted as well. What I will say that I, I would... <clears throat> what I will say is it's white, the shower head is white my shower head is silver so hello clean please bring out a silver version of this shower head so that it matches my shower that would just be the cherry on top can I get it out of the box We'll get there in the end. But yeah, I'm gonna just add this on and see what happens. So you get all the instructions. Oh, it comes in a bag. It's like a posh handbag, a shower head in a cover. Here it is. Oh, it's very space agey. So it only comes out in one piece. I can't see any holes. This is going to be interesting. I'll show you it in working form, ladies, at some point. Yeah, but that's the shower head. So it's going to be interesting. Definitely look forward to that. Anyway, that's that little unboxing. I'm going to leave you for the rest of the day. I've got a lot of admin to be catching up on. So I will see you tomorrow. Morning. It's a couple of days later. Um, I've started looking at cars. I'm gonna go and look at a car today. I'm excited. I think this is the one. I'll tell you what I'm looking at, ladies. I'm looking at the little Fiat 500s. And I went and looked at one yesterday. It wasn't quite right. But it just fitted me like a glove. It's a big difference from a Cougar, but it's going to be economical, it's going to be cheaper all round, and I thought it just makes sense. So I'm going to go and look at a couple today, I'm really excited. I'm just on my way to the bank in town, and I have to walk, so it's a very simple day. I've not even bothered with the hair, I've not done anything to it this morning, I've literally just brushed it because 
it's most probably going to rain. It's nice and bright at the moment, but it's going to rain. You can guarantee it. I'm going to get soaking. I'll take the brolly. I'll show you what I've got on, actually. Here, so I've just put the leather jacket on in that cutaway. Denim and black. I look like a right little biker girl this morning, but it's, it's just going to be easy and comfortable. Uh, to walk in it's it's quite a trot into town but anyway wish me luck if I get a car hopefully before this vlog ends I will have my freedom back I cannot wait there's a new life out there ladies waiting to be started I cannot wait speaking a bit morning everyone it's a couple of days since we last spoke but we have a car, we have a car, I'm really happy. This film's going to be a little bit late going out because uh, it's hard work looking at cars, hard work. Anyway, I got something that I really didn't even think about getting. I got a Fiat 500 it's so dinky it's dinky like me it's perfect I love it I'm going to take you to see it in a minute because I'm on my way out I'm just putting some lipstick on I did well with the hair today I wanted to tell you about this because I'm using the planter shampoo as you all know um, and I've started getting that clagginess in the hair it looked absolutely awful when I got up this morning and I thought, what can I do quickly? And I use this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. And it's it's got rid of that clagginess, but what I will say is, I felt like this has added extra body as well. So any of you that have got the really fine hair, I would recommend trying this. It's not coloured or anything, it's a dry shampoo. But yeah, I was quite impressed. Just going to put some lipstick on. I'm off out to a meeting, so. That's it, I've got vanity on today. How many of you have ordered this lipstick? Vanity at Code 8 Beauty, so always proud of this lipstick. I haven't got a lot left, but it's named after me, so I'm really happy. Look, that's all I've got. I need to speak to the Code 8 team. Oh, and the bronzer that I just put on, that's Code 8 as well. I do love the brand. You see it often enough on here. Anyway, I've got to finish getting ready. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. Very plain and simple. I've got the Marx's dress on. Um, it was a little bit big when I bought it, but look, ladies, I'm literally wasting away. It's just stress life you know i'm sure it'll all come back i keep trying to put the weight back on it's driving me nuts to be fair because it's not a good look yeah but it's such an easy dress you could throw anything over this and i've got the lily silk cardigan out so i'm going to put that over the top so i'll put you down and put that on Yeah, I just wanted to see how this paired with the Lily Silk cardigan. I don't know that I'm keen to be fair. I love the cardigan, but I'm just not sure about this pairing with the black. You know what I'm like, I really don't like wearing black. But this dress just caught my eye, I don't know why I bought it really. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that I think. It's come out like a blouse on. Yeah. I've got the boots on from Stradivarius, just nice and simple. It's a really easy look, isn't it? Otherwise, 
Anyway, I'll take you out to see the car that I'm so pleased with and we'll have a little chat in the car. So here we are in my little car. I'll show you the outside in a minute. It's so dinky. But do you know what? 10 pounds worth of petrol has lasted for ages. It's low on insurance because I've got no claims for 15 years. Um, so I had to be very careful there. I nearly had the boys Range Rover, but it was gonna cost me 240 pound a month to insure and I can't afford that. So I've got this little fear and it's just perfect. I absolutely love it. Let me know if any of you have got Fiat 500s. Right, hello ladies. I'm back now from that meeting and I thought I'd show you a little look around my little car. A bit windswept. So this is it, it's a tiny, tiny little car, but I love it. It's got everything that I need. It's got the little, this is very dusty, the little, uh, this is for the sat nav and everything, obviously. All the, everything, you know, just all the basics that you need. The only thing I wasn't keen on was the uh, Speedo. But I'm going to try and get a digital one, I think. But yeah. It's got my little steering wheel. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. White on the outside. You've got plenty of room in the back there. And the boot is actually quite a good size as well. If I fold them seats down, I could actually fit bow in here. So that is a bit of a bonus. Yeah, so very happy with my little car. And it's so easy to drive. It's easy to park. You can fit in the smallest of spaces. It's not a powerful car, but I'm not worried about a powerful car. This is purely for just driving around town, you know, and to the kids. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Freedom, ladies. Time to start going shopping now, which is what we'll be doing. And I very much look forward to it. I am going to leave this vlog here now. Thank you all for watching and I'm sorry the film was late coming out but that was because I was just out everywhere looking for a car. So I will speak to you all soon. We'll have a fashion video next. Love to you all. See you in the next one.